Stick around to the end of the video to find out how we understood the concept of stack widget and also implemented a real world example using the same. Hey guys, welcome to Riva Academy and in this tutorial we are going to look at the stack widget in Flutter. And if you really like this video, please share it with your friends who are also learning Flutter. So we started by creating a new project in Visual Studio Code and I will remove these extra comments and also remove these two extra classes so that we can start with a clean slate. Okay, so I will create a new class now. I will create a stateless widget by the name my home page. Okay. And I will remove these title parameter from here. Not required for now. And over here I will write scaffold. Okay. And I will quickly add the app bar. Okay. So app bar. And uh, then I will add the title to this app bar. Okay. Say title. Text. Okay. And let me say stack widget demo. Okay. And then now what I will do is run this in emulator. Okay. Okay. So now you can see that this is nicely running in emulator. Okay. And I will quickly start by adding the stack widget. Okay. And to do so, we will add a stack widget in the body. Okay, so what the stack widget will do is it will place all the widgets one above each other. Okay, so there is this children parameter and inside this children parameter we will add various widgets and these widgets will place one above each other. Okay, and to explain this concept what I will do is I will add a container. Okay, and let the height of this container be 200 and width also be 200. Okay, and uh, what I will do is I will add the color. Okay. Okay, colors dot blue. Okay, cool. Okay, so now you can see the first widget which we have added inside the children. Okay, what I will do is add some padding. So it displays nicely. Okay, I'll bring it to the center. Okay, now what I will do is I will add one more widget on top of this. Okay, so I will add one more container. So inside the stack children's parameter, I will place one more container above this. Okay, so whatever widgets we add inside the children of the stack, it will place one above each other. Okay, so I have added this one more container. And I will make the height and width smaller so that this container can be seen. And also I will change the color. Okay, let me change this color to yellow, amber. Okay, so now you can see that I have added one more widget, one more container and it has been placed over above the previous one. Okay, so this is what the stack widget does. It will place the widgets one above each other. Now let me add one more. Okay. So whatever widgets we add, it will place up one above each other. And let me make the color to say light green. Okay, you can see over here, it's very light. Let me change the color to red. Okay, so when I save in hot reload, you can see these widgets are placed one above each other. Okay, so this is what the basic fundamental of your stack widget. Okay, I'll just format this document so the code will display nicely. Okay, so whenever we use stack widgets, the containers or any of the widgets you add, they will be placed one above each other. So now let me create one real time example using the stack widget. Okay, so first let me comment this part. Okay, what I will do is I will comment out this part. I will not delete it so that it stays inside the code. Okay, so now inside the body, I will add one blank container. Okay, cool. Now what I will do is add a stack widget over here. Okay, and let me make a real time example using the stack widget. Okay, so let me add a stack widget inside the container. 
say stack and we will add the children okay now nothing will appear because there are no children widgets right now what i will do is i will add the height to this container say 200 okay now coming back to the stack widget let me add one image over here okay and i will say image dot network and i will paste the url of one of the image that i already have okay i have taken a random image from pixel.com you can take any of the image as per your requirement okay now let me wrap this image with the container so that i can give the height and width to this okay i will give the height 200 and i will also specify the width to this image okay okay the width i will give the full screen so i will use the media media query for it, the same okay so media query of context size dot width okay but still it is not filling up the width so what i have to do is there is the property for the image okay say fit and box fit dot fill okay so it will fill up the entire space okay so what i have done is in the stack widget i have added this image okay so i will format this document so that it displays nicely okay okay so inside this stack widget i have added a image okay now what i will do is i will add it i will add a text over here okay now suppose if my project requirement is to add a text above the image so how we are going to do this we will see okay so now it is not displaying because by default the font are black right so let me change the font style okay i will add the styling to this text and i will change the color okay i will add white color okay when i save and hot reload you can see now okay i will make the font some bigger okay font size 20 okay now you can see let me make it little bit more say 25 okay so when i save and hot reload you can see this text over here okay now let me quickly align this text so what i will do is wrap this with a container and give it an alignment okay okay so i will give this text alignments i will say alignment and alignment dot alignment dot bottom left okay so when i save and hot reload you can see now this text is displaying above the image because we are using the stack widget so whatever we uh, whatever widgets we will add it will place one above each other okay so i have added some padding over here so that it displays nicely okay so we can see that image is displaying above the uh, sorry the text is displaying above the image okay so there is this one container of image and there is another container of the text okay now suppose it may happen that this image has some bright colors and we are not able to view the text properly so in that case what we will do is add a midway container which will serve as an overlay above the image and our text are displayed nicely okay so i have added a container over here and let me add a color black okay so now the image is not shown so what i will do is i will add some opacity okay so let uh, 0.5 okay now you can see that this image is displaying and this midway container is being served as an overlay so that our text are displayed nicely okay so okay so for example if you are developing a news application where you have an image and display the headline on the top in this scenario you can use the stack widget okay so you can play around the stack widget in your project as per your requirement okay so this was it for today's video i hope you liked it and if you really did please share it with your friends who are also learning flutter thank you so much for watching